Hey, how's it going, guys? Welcome back to Kingdom Hearts 2. The last time you remember, we managed to uh, finish Land of Dragons for the first time, which we, uh, which is Mulan's world, so that's pretty cool. Now we're off to the next world, which is Beast's Castle. I wonder who lives there. Hey, what is this place? It's huge! Well, it's uh, sort of gloomy, it's a castle. don't you think? I wonder who lives here. Didn't you see the name of the world? Who do you think lives here? Hey! Does anybody else recognize that? Hey, that's the beast! Are you sure? Maybe I thought maybe it was something. Up on him. Look! Beast's castle. Ah, I guess they were right. That must have been Beast. Where did he go? What? Pretty. A lot of heartless in this room. Yeah. I just figure some of the earlier worlds are like the best time to level up battle form. Because there's a lot of heartless to kill earlier on. Yeah. Oh, come on, enough already. <laughs> oh, hi, Beast. How are you doing? He doesn't look too happy. Just in time. Rude. Almost messed up my new clothes. Maybe forgot who we are. Everyone With this else many did. Heartless around. Something must be up. Why do you have to do that? Oh, did he hurt you, Donald? You big baby. A sardonic string is good to have this early in the game. Let's get that. You get a lot of AP boosts in this game. You get Sora gets really high AP in this game if you uh, get all the AP boosts about that. How could you have seen that? Do we have to?
Fine, I guess we'll go talk to Belle. Did we really have any reason to suspect that she was in trouble? Oh, I'm so happy you're here. Hey, I know you. Sora, Goofy. Hiya. Oh. She got a tight grip on her. Kinda sucks that after all the trouble he went through for the first game, he's suddenly all pissed off at her now. His servants? How about a map or something, you know? We, we don't really know how to get to the West Hall. We don't know where the West Hall is. Okay. Oh, hey, thanks for the map. Oh, I'm pretty sure that, I'm pretty sure we just kind of rifled through her things and that's kind of rude to do, but. Yeah. Eh, whatever. If she didn't want us to be rifling through everything, she didn't have treasure chests in her bedroom. He definitely opens treasure chests with more flair in this game. behind the one part of the one part of the whole room that's actually discolored than the rest of the room. Ooh. Hey, get attention to detail in this castle. I mean, it looks really pretty. The suit of armor looks suspicious. Oh. I, I guess we're okay. Ah, uh, but these gargoyles definitely look suspicious. Yeah, I bet you it's behind this wardrobe. <gasps> We're going to Narnia! That would be a cool world to have in a game like this, Narnia. Which, I think those movies were technically made by Disney, so... Here's open! That d yeah, that doesn't freak us out at all.
have to move a sleeping wardrobe without disturbing her. Best game ever, 10 out of 10. And then she wakes up right after we move her out of the way. That's cool. That's convenient. <laughs> yeah, he conveniently left out that little part of information when we first met him. Oh, they look so so ready for the start. What? You tease! A clock? What's a clock doing on that one? Who needs to tell time in the dungeon? I forgot a treasure chest over here. I don't want to go get it first. Let's go find this supposed clock. That is a cool door. I'll bet you nothing uh, bad at all is gonna happen for if I try to approach, approach that door. But of course, Donald approaches it, so you know something bad's gonna happen now. Gargoyles look suspicious. Yeah. They're not gargoyles, they're statues. Yeah. I guess they're kind of gargoyles, but. Oh, puzzle piece. Yeah. Dang it, can't you heartless see them just trying to open the door? Hit the thing that came out of the door. Oh. Got it again. Yeah. We killed the door. Now the door doesn't look as cool. <laughs> I 
the, the, the past where other door would it be behind? It's the only door we have here. And she's hitting the door just turned into a couple of heartless a second ago. I'm pretty sure it's the right way. Oh, I guess there is this way. Oh no, that's where we came from, duh. There's nobody here. Hmm? You mean there's nobody to rescue? <sighs> oh, he's sounds so disappointed. There's no one in the dungeon. Shh. Keep quiet. It might be what? them. Huh? Oh, they look like nice boys to me. We are nice. We're your friends. Well, I yeah. mean, shouldn't it be at well, least a little bit suspicious that there's a teapot and a cup down in the dungeon? How come Cogsworth and Lumiere got chairs and they just got a box? I'm Sora. Donald. Goofy. I am self winding, sir. That's what he said. I'm glad you're okay. It is we who are overjoyed to see you. Did somebody put a spell on you guys, too? Yes. That's I like right. how Lumiere yeah. is the only character the in the entire movie that actually has a French it seems accent. so long ago. It was a cold winter's night. An old beggar woman came to the castle and asked for shelter. But the master of this castle, that is, of course, the prince. Stop that! Put me down this instant! Thank you. Uh, <clears throat> So we couldn't hear the whole story in voiceovers? They must have ran out of the voiceover budget. To be fair though, as a lot of people point out from the movie, the beast would have been like 11. So that's not really all that unfair to think that he wouldn't let a stranger in the castle. At least the new Beauty and the Beast movie, I think, kind of filled up that plot hole pretty well, I think. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's get the Enchantress! You're heartless! Yeah. Oh sure, give me a map of the basement. In the last room of the basement. Yeah, I guess I do need it for the next part. Well, I don't need maps in this game at all. Anyways, I know where I'm going, but... I thought we were supposed to follow Lumiere. Why are you the only have to talk to, Cogsworth? Where'd he go? You said after that rude clock. I thought you said this was a shortcut. Shortcuts are supposed to be easy.
That is one fancy looking lantern. Way to go, Goofy. You know the science behind fire lighting. Wherever are we gonna get the power of light? Did we just unlock a flame? How the hell did we do that? How does the clock get tired? Please hurry and be quick about it. <laughs> hurry up, Mrs. Potts. Do the trick. Jeez, you're so slow. What? Dang it, Cogsworth. You have the stamina of an old man. Was I really needed for that? I didn't even do anything. Mrs. Potts was the one who re recovered him. Please tell me Lumiere is already by the lantern. Yep, he is. He's just waiting for us. Good job, Lumiere. You knew what was important. Dang it, Mrs. Potts. Why you? Why you hop so slow? So by the time she gets over, Cactus is gonna be down again. Uh, really? Oh no. Are you kidding me here? This place is so annoying. I think this will do the trick. I'm not sure if I've ever failed that more than once. To be fair, I think she follows directly behind me, so I think I might have to wait till she turns the corners before I continue. Alright, hurry up. I think this will do the trick. About time. Stupid Mrs. Potts and her having to hop all over the place. Okay. Why didn't you just say so? Why you gotta wait for us to try to look for a secret door?
Try the statue! Got so many bats. Oh, thanks, Donald. Good job. You did good. It's time you dealt with Belle. What? Who said that? She's scheming to take everything you have. This castle, your precious rose, and then your life. Trust no one. Feed your anger. Only anger will keep you strong. I've had enough of strength. There's only one thing I want. What? To love and be loved in return. Who could ever love a beast? Another beast? See? She has accomplices. Well, that's true, but not for the reasons you think. Hey, Prince. Whoa! Oh, dear, Master. You scared the hat off of Donald. Uh oh. I think he's mad at us, guys. Well, I'm not entirely sure why. Got him. Cogsworth, what happened? Well, Master, uh, I had to smack you see, in the face. That is, how shall I say? Uh, actually, um, out with it, Cogsworth. Well, you put everybody down there in that dungeon. I did what? Uh, you did. Yeah, they probably deserve it. Who was it. that guy you were talking to? The one in black. <gasps> Zaldan. <sighs> That's his name. He That's came a cool from the name. darkness. He used my anger to control me. He got an X in his name, so you know his parents must have been pretty cool too. He took all my sorrow, my sadness, my pain, and turned it all into rage. It's good. It was rage is manly. I, I could no longer see the truth. We'll all be. That must be why you threw all of your friends down there into the dungeon. You wanted to make sure that you didn't hurt them, right? Was that it? Was it to protect them? We're gonna say yes. Sure. Makes we you know look like you're lots good of a douchebag. He's right, Master. We've all seen how kind you can be. After all, Bell can see the goodness in your heart, but I'm afraid you've yet to. Bell. Oh. Oh, I've mistreated her. I've mistreated her and been so selfish. She didn't say anything about that. She'd never tell anyone of my cruelty. She's too good. You see, I'm afraid he judges himself far too harshly. Why don't no, you just I'm go pretty talk sure to that's her. accurate. But no excuses. Come on, we'll go with you. 
It's like it's like we're all in elementary school when he's supposed to try to tell a girl that he likes her, and that all of his friends have to go with him because he's a chicken. Oh, we want Donald to have fire abilities. Defender. What did we get? Oh yeah, some new uh, synthesis stuff. That's right. Eh, why not? Might as well use them. Why didn't they let us pass before, huh? Yeah, new limit. He's really strong. Let's go. While he was the strongest companion in the first game, I think he's probably, arguably, the second strongest companion in this one. I think we'll get the strongest companion, and arguably one of my favorites, in the next world we visit. In the next episode. I guess this is the, uh, the, those statue heartless like the only ones that actually show like darkness coming out of them when you, when you defeat them These suits of armor are alive, and now I feel bad for killing one the first time. Although, I guess maybe not necessarily all of them are alive. Well, that one's not anymore. Well, let's go back to Bell's room. Where'd you come from? The men in black! Are there aliens here? Honestly, though, Sora should have immediately known that Baldwin was from the Organization 13. That's the only person so far, other than King Mickey, who you've seen wearing that black coat. So, that should have immediately tipped you off that he was up to no good. Two meters. 
Maybe even more, I guess. I don't know. Let's go! that intimidating. You know, your invisibility would be much more, would be a much better uh, technique if I wasn't able to lock onto you anyway. That's always fun to do. Come back here. Get out. The only downside with limits is that they'll take all of your MP. Which makes sense though, considering it's such a powerful attack. You take a lot of damage out of your enemy. But it also sucks because if you use it, and then you need healing later, you can't heal yourself. Which I don't have a uh, cure or magic right now anyway. Yeah, we did it! We did it! I am the king. This is my castle now. Beast, get out. We did it! 
so you Everything turned back to normal pretty quick. Man in black! Zaldan. Is he gonna erase our memory? What does he want here? He must be with Organization 13. <sighs> Ever heard of the Nobodies? When a strong-hearted person turns into a heartless, a Nobody is created too. Oh, See, look at Thor showing off his new knowledge. They got all the Nobodies. That's right! And they were gonna make you into a heartless. That way they could get that nobody of yours and have control over it. You're all right. That would be a really powerful nobody, though. Can't really oh. say I blame them for trying. Are we just gonna stand here and stare at them? I'm sorry, I... I wasn't myself. I hope I haven't done anything to hurt you. Forgive me. I know you weren't yourself. You don't have to apologize. Yes, he does. Don't lie. But I had hoped that you might have changed a little bit. I wish you could start trusting me. Never trust a woman, beast. Good life, good, oh, good luck. I am have. afraid time is running short. What do you mean? Remember the rose? Oh, sure, yes, the rose that squabber. showed up in like one Precisely. scene and then somehow you become see, not important if anymore. If the master can learn to love and earn love in return before the last petal falls, the spell will be broken. Really? You think he's gonna make it? We better go give him a new rose. We think so. Yup, I think you're right. I hope you're right. Why are you acting so surprised? We know what's gonna happen. We happened we've seen it happen twice already. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Now, no more arguing, okay? Huh? Oh. We'll see to Man, it. Man, we always gotta make I things awkward guess. for couples You're before we You're welcome leave. here anytime. If you hear anything about Riku, or the King, the Heartless, the Organization, anything at all, let us know. What if I get a splinter okay, in my finger? Go. Will you come help me then? I can do cure. Huh? Hey, wait a minute. Is the ship moving all on its own? What? Yep, looks like we're headed toward Hollow Bastion. I wonder what's up. Oh no, the Heartless! Come on! Well, that's what you get for leaving your door open, Merlin. I can almost see uh, up his dress. Oh, that's just disturbing. Oh, uh, well now, <clears throat> took your time, did you? Oh, was it you who summoned us, Merlin? Who else yes, would have been? Yes. <laughs> But it seems I use too much power in doing so, and those infernal heartless. Oh. So what's up? Well, I, I happen to stumble across this in the Zero District. What do you mean stumble across it? You didn't keep it? 
we after all the trouble we went through of fixing it for you, didn't even bother to keep it. I know you're a good friend of Winnie the Pooh, Sora. That's why I summoned you. And when I did, I was attacked by the Heartless. Of course, I fought back with some rather powerful magic, but then I began to fear the book would be damaged, so I... I uh, oh, now, just a moment. Uh, Leon and the others need to hear this, too. I, I, I'd better go find them. Be back in a jiffy. I wonder how Pooh's doing. Want to find out? Yeah. But Merlin just told us he'd be right back. All right, guys, I think we're going to have to end this episode here. Uh, I would love to go and show you guys Winnie the Pooh again, but we don't have time for this episode, and that's okay. We will do it next episode. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe to keep up to date what's happening next, and have a good day, guys.